guys welcome back to this youtube channel uh so we are editing this picture we are sketching for this particular picture now all right so um let's choose the tool we are going to use for a sketch let's choose a dream brush is that okay then you can reset it to any size you want and then zoom in your image you can decide to check out if the size is better for you let me just reduce to 1.8 is that okay and then continue to sketch so i'll sketch gradually like you can see me doing uh, i can use guides to in this area you know to make it more straight or you know more faster it all depends remember this is a tutorial so i need to show you how but um, i will advise don't get used to heat too much is that okay learn how to use your hand but i'm just using it uh for the sake of this tutorial is that okay so that you can have an idea of what it can be used for just let me clear even all the sketches is that okay let me clear it and then reason because i'm drawing on the real picture is that okay so duplicate it now and then create a new layer please guys always beware of that mistake don't draw on the on the picture you imported is that okay so let me start my sketch from this place as you can see me doing so i'll just sketch gradually all right so i can use my hard eraser here to erase the part i did not want as you can see me doing <clears throat> All right, so you create a new layer and then go back to a dream brush with shades. I mean, uh, guides rather. All right, so I will just reset it there and then draw a circle. Not a perfect circle, but just a kind of circle that can be found there. Then I can just make some, you know, pattern that was there to make it known that it's a pocket. Do you understand that? So I will use my soft eraser to blend it. I will make the mouth. Uh, the the edges rather make it you know um, light is that okay do the same to this one likewise and then you can merge it create a new layer uh, do the same here and then use uh, your soft eraser likewise so that's how you're going to continue your sketch let me draw this part also and then like i always tell you guys don't forget your soft eraser very very compulsory very compulsory all right let me use my guides here again uh to make the work faster because it has a large intake from uh far away do you understand that so instead of drawing with my hands and going around it will just do it for me once uh, but like I said, don't get too much. Don't be too used with it. It's okay. You should learn how to use your hand also, because uh, using it always may not be helpful sometimes. All right. So just let me sketch all these parts. You know that makes the clothes more realistic. It's okay. So I spent time in doing that, and that's how I'm going to do all other parts likewise. Is okay continue watching and uh, enjoy watching the tutorial and guys please share this youtube link to others so that they can benefit from these tutorials from this youtube channel i want people to benefit from it that's the purpose of creating this youtube channel so if you have any question you can come to my whatsapp is that okay all right so let's draw a black shade there a black uh, color let's just put it there is that okay and then to to represent the black in the cloth all right so i use my fill tool and then let's increase back the opacity and then use my soft eraser to clear the hedges all right good so i think i can reduce the opacity a little now all right and then merge it so i create a new layer and then choose back my brush and continue to sketch is that okay so any area where you see so, uh, that is more darker you can just choose to you know uh, put some shades there is that okay so like i'm saying you can come to my whatsapp is that okay if you have any question or you have any tutorial you want me to drop and if the tutorials have been drop dropping 
are not so clear to you just come to my dm and let me understand everything like you know in the comments box you always say whatsapp group link there you can decide to join and ask any question you want or you join the telegram group then you'll be able to meet up with me is that okay then uh, you can message me through that and i'm going to answer you is that okay now guys uh so like this part again let's draw the black color like we did the other time is that okay let's draw it just let's draw it here yeah. so make it straight you know do it uh, as it is found in the reference is that okay do that for now hope you can see i'm doing my i'm using my flat i mean uh um Yes, you can also use your flat pen, you can use your technical brush and many other brushes, is that okay? And you can, but presently now I'm using my inky pen, is that okay? That's what I'm using presently, you can decide to use that as well. So just make sure you draw it, it's not compulsory, but you know, just to make your work more realistic enough, that's why I said you should put it there, is that okay? So you clear the part that are coming out, you clear it, you make it clear all right so now the places that are not straight make it straight do you get that so you use your soft eraser for the downwards part here because if you look at the reference it's like that so decrease the opacity and then merge it do you see we are having our code so that's how you do it gradually and continually till you finish sketching the picture
also i mean yeah yeah these are okay <clears throat> just follow the reference and you know make mistake if this video is confusing to you don't worry i'm going to drop some more simpler videos is that okay so now match can you see where we are all right create a new layer now and let's go for for the glasses is that okay uh guys there are some things you need to understand when it comes to uh, sketching your glass or drawing your glass you really need to be careful with the size of the pencil you are using and the cups you really need to be careful with it only if you want to change the pattern of the kind of glasses the person has in the reference but if you are still going with the same thing then you really really need to be careful all right because you know the highs the head is the major thing that <clears throat> is used to identify uh, people you know so if I don't wear clothes and you likewise don't wear clothes it's it may be difficult to differentiate from us so you need to be to uh, give more attention to how you draw the head the spec and the highs you know everything the face you really need to give it attention uh, so that's what you see me doing so you see I'm very I'm giving it time all right to uh, draw this darker please first so that we can know if we are to resize our pencil yeah so just continue to sketch don't worry it may not actually be joining well because of the nature of the glass uh, but we've got plans for that is that okay don't worry just sketch it sketch it round follow the pattern of the picture you can choose to to uh, create uh, you can choose to create glasses for your, uh, by yourself all right maybe i'm going to drop another tutorial on how to create glasses for uh, yourself without looking at the one in the reference is that okay but for now let's follow this all right so i'm going to drop some guides for beginners because i believe there are some beginners in this watching this video is that okay so if you are a beginner don't worry you are highly welcome don't worry no problem is that okay so i'm going to release some guides some useful guides and rules of blendings and all these things that you, you are going to need is that okay so you are still in the right place don't worry you are you are welcome and uh, well appreciated so choose your soft eraser and let's blend the downwards part because i said the other time it mustn't be too bold is that okay we want to go with what is in the reference so you must learn how to do that mm -hmm. you follow your perspective the way you think that's how what we are expecting you to bring out is that okay you may not choose you may choose not to do it this way but just make sure you do what you are thinking is that okay all right so we are going to go with that
guys uh, bring the reference up and let's go for the hair so okay uh, you can just use this tool let's see i change it let's use our camo is that okay increase the size and begin to draw it so you need to understand some things when it comes to hair detailing it doesn't necessarily mean that you use this tool you can choose to sketch it one after the other is that okay all is accepted one thing about artwork is just make sure everything you are doing is in line and sense making in as much as it's sense making oh you don't have a problem is that okay you don't have a problem all right so just let's do you know the rough sketch first before you know making it clean and detailing and everything is that okay so for now just let's do a rough sketch before we start you know um cleaning it up all right okay you see how i'm sketching my so you've got to be careful with it some people will count this as um wasting of time <clears throat> but if you see uh, it doesn't matter just let me choose automatic tools and begin to do everything mm -mm. there is always a difference is that okay so i will advise you do it this way or a better way that you know but don't use automated ones like the camera we used for the hair don't even bother to use it on this you can use it but it's not very advisable understood it's not advisable for me i won't advise that for you is that okay so just choose to go by the long way and see the difference all right so you begin to detail remember i'm not drawing a straight line it's zigzag somehow all right like a snake is walking uh -huh. so don't draw your home beard to be straight because a beard is not straight it's always you no know, curve bends and all those things so we are expecting that also when you're drawing your phone all right so you can just uh, find the picture with this that you continue to use for practice is that okay so that's what i'm expecting you to do so just watch this tutorial and make sure you understand like i said the other time if you don't understand any single thing about these videos any video you see me drop it if you don't understand anything you can just do well to screenshot it and join the group link in the description box then ask the question and i tell you i'm gonna answer you is that okay if you drop it and you see that i'm not replying it has to mean that i'm busy or i am not online but the moment i see your message i'm going to attend to you just make sure you ask in the group all right so just follow the video and see all of the things that i'm doing
it guys and uh, thank you for joining me on this tutorial it's very well appreciated all right so you can go for the lips now is that okay and uh, guys like i always say don't worry there are many tutorials coming is that okay and i want to tell you there are many explanatory tutorials coming is that okay so all these videos are just to ginger you guys and uh, to you know it may not actually be clear to the beginners so no problem there are many more tutorials coming is that okay uh, but the the problem is this if you are not commenting if uh, you are not you know bringing traffic to this youtube channel and get a lot of people to check the videos and ask questions on what is not clear your question is what will give me the kind of content to create is that okay so you just ask me questions things you are not clear about things you wish to know and i'm going to work a tutorial on it and drop it but if you are just keeping silent there is no way i can help is that okay so always ask questions